Season one for Modern Warfare 3 might just be the most content heavy season we've ever gotten for Call of Duty. I mean, I'm just sitting here blown away by the amount of content we seem to be getting for this season. Of course, I just recently reacted to the trailer and talked about all the content within the trailer, and it was a good trailer, but it honestly didn't showcase nearly as much as the actual stuff we are getting in this season. And I'm actually surprised because there's a lot of things that they probably could have shown within that trailer, and it would have made it even more exciting because there's so much stuff here that they didn't even bother to touch on, which is crazy to me. So we got a lot to cover. We're going to be covering everything from multiplayer to Warzone to zombies, and I'm really excited to get into it. So first of all, we have the roadmap here, and there's a ton of items here. And of course, the amount of items on the roadmap doesn't exactly correlate to the amount of content you're getting, because sometimes they're kind of tricky with it, where they put items on there that aren't really like new content necessarily. I mean, they do show like Vondel and Ashika Island as returning maps as a pretty big section of the Warzone section. So of course, it's not really new content, but it is cool to at least know that those maps are returning to this game. I believe it's like 48 hours after season one releases because they want people to play Ergastan first. So we play Ergastan for 48 hours and then they are returning Vondel and Sheikah Island from Modern Warfare 2 Warzone over to Modern Warfare 3 Warzone, which is essentially the same game. But they are actually changing a lot in Warzone, including the movement to kind of match what Modern Warfare 3 feels like, which is all really good news. There's also a new Gulag, which isn't that crazy because we usually get new Gulags, but sure, that's the thing that we're getting. There's going to be resurgence modes, battle royale and plunder all available right when the game releases. You also have a drivable train, which is actually really exciting because that probably means that train is also coming to zombies. I'm not 100% sure if it's actually coming to zombies, but it is coming to Warzone at least on the Urkistan map, so that's cool. And then you have a bunch of other things, like I said, of course, the movement's gonna be changed, which is really exciting. They actually gave a whole separate roadmap for Warzone as well, which this is so cool to me because usually we just get one roadmap for the full game, but they even gave us a separate roadmap that is showing just the Warzone elements. And there's a lot of stuff here that they're talking about, obviously, like returning features and new perk updates and some, you know, modes and stuff. There's just so much stuff to this quality of life features, just so much crap, man. I This is easily one of the most content heavy seasons we've ever gotten. And there's also going to be this new Christmas mode, which I'm not going to really talk about in the other modes because it doesn't seem like there's that much coming to multiplayer in Warzone for this Christmas or multiplayer and zombies for the Christmas mode. But in Warzone, we have this whole sleigh ride resurgence mode, which includes a zombie Santa runaway train a deer hunt public event, I'm not sure what that's going to entail, Christmas trees, which will probably like the Fortnite Christmas trees where there's like chests around them, and then you also have snowball fights, you can actually pick up snowballs and throw them at people, that's just fun, that sounds cool, that sounds awesome, I'm excited for that stuff. As for multiplayer content, of course, we have three brand new 6v6 maps, there's Meat, which is going to be releasing at launch, and Meat looked really cool, they even gave us a little map layout for it, it's a pretty small map, I don't think it's like as small as something like Shipment, but it definitely looks on the smaller side, probably similar to like the size of Rust, maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but it's exciting to have another small map in the game because, of course, those are always going to be fun. There's also Grease, which looks a lot bigger, but it looks like it has a three lane layout to it for the most part. So I'm excited to see how that plays. It's also releasing at launch. And then Rio will not be releasing until the end season, which I'm assuming end season is going to be towards the end of the year, maybe like early January, probably something like that, maybe mid January. So I guess we'll have to wait a little bit till we're going to get to that. But it's still exciting to get to it nonetheless. The map looks really good as well. Again, another three land map. Sledgehammer knows how to make maps. I'm so tired of the, oh, all new maps suck crowd because there's so many people who think that way. Get out of here, man. They can make new maps. They can make good new maps and all these look solid. And then, of course, we're going to be getting Gunfight with a brand new map called Training Facility as well as the returning Modern Warfare 2 Gunfight maps just kind of make the map pool a bit bigger than it would be otherwise. They're also returning the All or Nothing mode, which I believe this was in Modern Warfare 3, like the original Modern Warfare 3. I'm not sure if it was in any other Call of Duty's. I can't honestly remember off the top of my head. I never really played this mode that often, but it was a fun mode when I remember playing it. I believe you deploy in with like no ammo and just throwing knives. And when you kill people, you start to actually get ammo and you have to get a certain amount of kills to win. I forget exactly how the mode plays, but it was a pretty fun mode back in the day. So it's cool to see it return. I'm glad they're returning a lot of party modes like really soon. And speaking of party modes, we have a brand new mode, which sounds really crazy. One of the coolest things I think multiplayer has ever done. And this is a new mode called Vortex. So apparently this is not coming till the mid season. So we're not getting this right away but it is going to be a limited time mode, which is kind of depressing. I hate the idea of limited time modes. It makes no sense to me, but apparently what it's gonna be is it's taking three maps, three maps from the game, completely zombifying them, making them look like zombies maps essentially, and making it into this zombies mode for multiplayer. And essentially what it is is a free-for-all mode 
where one player spawns in with the ray gun and whoever eliminates the person with the ray gun becomes the new owner of the ray gun and it's kind of just like going back and forth between that and it sounds really interesting but like why not utilize these maps in actual zombies mode as well and we're going to talk about that a bit later but i think they can definitely do either onslaught or some sort of traditional round based experience with these maps they literally took these multiplayer maps completely zombified them and it's going to be an ltm no there's no way they're just going to have their them be there for this ltm and then never come back again no they're going to use them in zombies 100 percent maybe they're just testing out multiplayer first just to see how people like them but there's no way these are not coming to zombies there's also infected team gunfight and a bunch of other modes coming later into the life cycle of this season, which is insane to me that there's this much coming for just one season. One season's only like two months usually. So this is all the content we're getting within a two month period. That's insane. There's also a new vest coming called the Assassin Vest, which appears to remove your field upgrade, but it gives you basically the same effects as the Ghost perk, which is interesting. It's a little different though, because apparently you actually get these effects even while you're stationary, whereas the Ghost perk while you're moving, you don't get the effects, so, or while you're stationary, you don't get the effects. So kind of weird, but I'm not opposed to it, I guess. I don't know. And then one of the most exciting things is that we're getting two new kill streaks. We're getting Swarm, which of course, you know what the Swarm is, the Swarm from Black Ops 2. That is returning. It deploys a large number of mosquito drones to provide blanket coverage over the entire area. And thank the Lord, it is the highest streak in the game. At least I believe it is, because I don't think there's any streak that's higher than this. It's 15 kills. And also for the score streak, it is 1,875 points, which is a lot of points, obviously, for a score streak, which is what it should be, which is probably means it's going to be really damn powerful. I can't tell you how excited I am to use the fucking swarm in a Call of Duty game again. I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. This is like, this is going to be one of the best Call of Duties by the end of the season. It has to be. They're also adding the EMP back, which is kind of crazy. It's uh, 13 kills or 1,625 points electromagnetic pulse to disrupt enemy kill streaks and equipment glad to see that return i'm glad it's a really high streak as well it should not be low whatsoever this is just like this all just sounds so good i cannot tell you how excited i am for this and then of course we got to get into the zombies content which you guys know how i felt about zombies recently i've definitely been disappointed with a lot of aspects of it but i think there's a lot of promise to the mode and i think a lot of what i enjoy in it would be even further enjoyed upon if they just added some sort of a round based mode to this and like i said i think it's very likely given a lot of the leaks and rumors that we're probably going to be getting something like that in the future but for this it seems like we're getting a new story act hopefully my story missions will be fixed by them because currently they're bugged so i can't even progress in them but we are getting a new story act and it's probably going to involve a lot of the dark ether stuff we're also getting the dark ether rifts themselves which allows you to go in this completely new location and apparently it's not on the urkistan map itself so i was talking about this in my reaction to the trailer i wasn't sure if it was going to be on the urkistan map itself or was this going to be like a small area of the urkistan map apparently it's actually going to be at albagra fortress which is of course a multiplayer map from modern warfare 2 and it's also a location from Almazra. So they're going to be utilizing Almazra in some ways in this, which I'm not against that. It's more, you know, locations. Of course, it's just reusing more assets, but it's at least new locations for us to explore rather than just having the exact same place all along. So I'm actually really glad they're doing that. And it also, again, opens up the opportunity of them maybe making a round based map within Albagra Fortress itself. I have no idea, but it's at least nice to know that we're going to be experiencing that location for this. And it apparently lets you complete a series of objectives in a given time within the Dark Aether. So probably going to give a lot of good loot there. Probably going to be a lot of good rewards for going there. So I'm excited to check that out. Of course, there's also the new VR-11 Wonder Weapon, which sounds really awesome. It functions similar to the original VR-11 from Call of the Dead. But it sounds even cooler because apparently you can turn not just zombies into humans, but you can turn humans into zombies, which I can imagine that'll be really cool, especially if you're taking on a mercenary group and you shoot one of the guys who are, of course, a mercenary and they turn into a zombie and they start attacking the other guys. That sounds like it would be pretty cool. There's also going to be some new schematics, including a dog bone, which will allow you to consume the dog bone and it actually spawns in a friendly hellhound. So, of course, we do know there is a current way to actually get a friendly hellhound by taking the meat and putting it in one of the hellhound like I guess doggy houses, whatever you call those things. And that's one way to get a friendly hellhound, but it seems like there's gonna be another way of getting one just simply by consuming this dog bone schematic. So that's pretty interesting. I'm definitely enjoying that idea. There's also gonna be golden armor plates, which is also a schematic, which if you consume it, it replaces the armor carrier with plates that automatically repair over time. So you don't even have to pick up new plates. It just automatically repairs itself 
which sounds pretty crazy to me. It also, it provides user additional damage resistances. And of course, as we saw in the trailer, there is going to be the Ether Blade, which is a special throwing knife with infinite ammo and a boomerang-like combat style, which then will also locate the nearest enemy to hit before returning back to you. So that, what does that sound like? Obviously, it sounds like the Tomahawk from of, you know, Mob of the Dead. It's very similar to that, clearly the Hell's Redeemer, Hell's Retriever, whatever you want to call it. it. It's basically just that, but in a, you know, throwing knife form called the Ether Blade. So it's cool to see that return. It would be kind of cool if it actually was the Hell's Retriever itself. Like they literally just brought back the Hell's Retriever rather than just doing this, you know, throwing knife thing. But, you know, I guess they wanted to have it be more Mono Warfare themed. And Mono Warfare was always known for its throwing knives, whereas Black Ops was always known for its tomahawk. So I get it, I understand, but it, it's cool nonetheless. There's also going to be some new Warlord called Dokabi. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I believe Warlords are basically like bosses, but I'm not sure exactly how those work. I never played DMZ, so I'm not exactly sure what that entails. I'm assuming it's similar to like the chemist from DMZ, where it's just some person you got to take out and you get some rewards for it. I'm assuming it's something like that. So that is all the content here. We, of course, do have new weapons as well, but I'm not going to go specifically in each of them. I think new weapons are always cool to see. We have the Ram 7, a new launcher as well, new sniper. Like They're, they're cool, right? But like I don't need to specifically talk about them. I don't think they're like that crazy. To I feel like DLC guns used to be so much crazier back in the day when we'd be like, oh my God, the PPSH is coming to, you know, the new Black Ops. It's, that was a bit more crazier, but I feel like nowadays it's like, eh, you know, that's cool. I'm excited to see them, but I don't really like, it's not, they don't feel that different than the other guns. I feel like there's so many guns already in this game that I feel like new guns is just, there's no way they're going to feel that unique. I'm going to be really excited when they bring back those advanced warfare guns though. That's going to be freaking insane. But for these guns, yeah, they're just other modern warfare type guns. Sure, I'm excited to use them, but I'm not like that crazy excited for them. So I don't really want to talk about them too much. There's also some new bundle stuff. There's some Dune characters coming. There's also, of course, more uh, characters from the boys, including A-Train, which is exciting. Uh, people are excited for that. There's also, it seems like there's going to be an actual Dune event as well, as well as another boys event. So they're doing a lot of stuff with these 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 things and i'm really excited for the walking dead event because i'm assuming there's going to be an event revolving around that rather than just a rick and michonne skin if they're willing to do events for dune and the boys hopefully they'll do it for the walking dead as well i'm very excited for all that hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below oh i didn't even say ranked play is coming in season as well there you go another thing to look forward to i will see you guys on my next one peace out